and turn it up a little bit. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Watch out! Feel the power just in time. Okay. Gotta watch where you're going. Yeah, how did your car get in there? Yeah. Alright, be careful, watch where you're going. Go in, gonna get the rest of the wood out. Well done. I'm gonna let it go now. The other way, the other button down. On your fingers. Get your fingers That's it.
So, here we go. This is um, basically a recap on the go-kart that I built six months ago. Um, I thought it might be interesting to show you, um, sort of reflect back on how it is. Um, now it's been used for a bit. As you can see, it's certainly not new anymore. Um, but does it still work? Well, I'm pleased to report that... Oh, turn it on everywhere. But yes, it does indeed still work. Um, in fact, we went out on it today through the forest. I'll put some footage in this video of us using it, um, or Mark using it. And yeah, you know what? I'm actually really quite pleased with it. It it does it goes everywhere with us. We use it every week, sometimes two, three times a week, and. We usually go on, you know, three, four mile walks um, and it takes Mark along the whole journey and all the way back. And yeah, it's not broken on us yet at all. Um, and so, yeah, really I can say it's uh, it's been really, it's part of the family now. Um, Marky won't go anywhere. It's probably the only downside is that he tends to not want to walk anywhere now because why would he? <laughs> he's got a go-kart. Um, so that's one of the downsides to it, is his lack of um, keenness to go on his taking under his own steam, as it were. But anyway, we're not talking about his laziness. So um, what can I say? What have I learned? Um, well, apart from... Well, one thing broke on it, if I'm honest, and that was the diff lock part that I made um, and that's basically it's basically this part here that's snapped off um, I'll exp yeah. yeah so this is the uh, only bit really on the go-kart that's actually broke in the last six months not sure quite when it did it, was, it certainly wasn't at the beginning um, of its use more like at the end and um, the last few weeks I think um, but it's actually uh, it's basically I use this piece of uh, tube here as too thin for the job um, so I need to get a bit thicker and I think other than that it's a fairly simple fix just drill a hole out and then weld it on to this piece here and it's back up and running again so what would I do differently um, Obviously, beef the diff up. Um, but other than that, I don't think I'd change anything, really. I think the go-kart frame is pretty good. It's not... It's obviously got... The only bearings are in the actual... Inside the wheels. These sort of... That actually bolt onto the onto the frame are just bushed. They're just, just nylon bushes, which I don't expect to last forever. They're not designed to be motorised. And... You know, you can see that there's a, what one might call a working clearance here, so it's a bit sloppy. Um, but again, we don't, it doesn't go, you know, it much faster than a sort of jog, so it's nothing too dangerous. It works all right, um, works fine for him. I wouldn't want to put anything more powerful than this. I, as I say, it's a 36 volt battery pack, a 36 volt controller but it's only 350 watts, so it's not putting massive power through the through the drivetrain. And I don't think I'd want to, because obviously the the uh, the bushings and everything would just give out on it. So I don't think, I think it's it's perfect for what it is. And it's, um, it, you know, it's not massively torquey. Although when he's going uphill, even though the, the seat is sat as far forward as it will go, so the center, of gravity is pointing sort of you know it's sort of fairly close it's over the front um, over the back wheels and yet going up a, an incline if you put your foot down it will lift the front wheels off the ground slightly not dangerously but enough to stop them from gripping and so if he's already pointing towards a ditch and he turns his wheel it will try to still sort of take him towards the, the hedge so 
it would mean to, to fix that we'd need to put the batteries or really bring the, the weight to the front um, and that actually would be quite difficult I think uh, or I'd have to elongate it and cut it and then make it longer which then makes it more of a pain because at the moment it will fit in the back of the Golf which you know without the seats down um, obviously not with a trailer which unfortunately has to go everywhere with him as well.